Do you like my YouTube videos? If you do, please leave a comment and actually click on the like button. And if you want, you can hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. Hey, and go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified. Thanks. Take care, guys. Okay, guys, this is going to be a tough one because I just got a leopard gecko surrendered to me. And she's not in good shape. Um, the owners had said they got her from, uh, or him, Petco, a few, uh, in 2019, and that she's three years old. He or three, or he or she, they're not sure. And she's been losing weight, and she's been losing weight, and she's just until where she is today. I'm going to take her out. They sent her to me in this family size ice cream tub and I have to warn you she is all skin and bones this is the worst I have ever seen a leopard gecko so I gotta warn you guys if you're faint of heart this is hard she weighs absolutely nothing I can't believe this poor little thing is even alive 10 grams okay so they sent her to me with absolutely nothing um, and we're going to do what we can to see if she can survive. So we have to, uh, we have to do the normal. I have to weigh her because I need to know how much I can start feeding her. Right. I mean, but if you look at her, her tail, it, it's just all bones. This is all bones. This is all bones guys. So I'm doing this as quick as possible. Let's get a rough length on her. about 20 centimeters and 10 grams okay this is all skin and all bones if we look now that we have her weight of 10 grams here though um, we can start we know what type of solution and everything we can mix but let's do a the tail is where the water is stored in a leopard gecko she's extremely dehydrated she is extremely thin I mean, it's very, look at the head. Ugh. And she does have little bits of stuck shed on her feet. But honestly, right now, that, that is the least of our worries. We want to get some food in her. Now, they did not give me a tank. They did not give me food. They didn't give me anything. They're like, no, I already sold all that stuff. So this is what they sent her to us in. Or me, us. Dean's, country fresh, family size, and she stinks. Um, smells like death. But if she's been lasting this long for a year, almost like this, which is borderline animal cruelty in my opinion, she's got will to live, and that's what we need. So she's 10 grams. Repti, uh, Repti aid here for under 250 grams. That's the key. And it's okay because they have a drop, they have an amount for under 25 grams, one to two drops. So here's our mixing cup, right? And we, we got to shake this up and I'm, I'm working fast here, guys, because she's in rough shape. They said they would try to feed her and she wouldn't eat, she wouldn't eat anything. They would try different foods. They said they tried tube feeding her. Who knows? Now, normally when something is this severe, there we go, we'd want to give, you know, extra, but if she hasn't eaten and drank in a long time, two, we don't want to, we don't want to overdo it. We don't want to shock her system. So we may need to be giving her just a little bit, a little bit and a little bit, and then boom, hit her with a good amount. So here's our two drops of Reptiade in there. We've got some water. And I want to decide how much I want to give her in terms of food. Let's go about here. So there's some water in here now. This is a reverse osmosis water. So there's no chemicals. There's no chlorine. There's no fluoride. There's none of that, especially when you're starting off and they may have a hard time eating. Um, the Just the most pure water you can do is the best. Uh, so here we have Zilla. This is the jumbo start. Uh, 
it's just huge uh, calorific uh, supplement, which is really good. Appetite stimulated. This is a heavy concentration. There is a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, protein, fats, just the list is huge. But the big thing we want to look at is right there, the vitamins. So lots and lots and lots of vitamins. This stuff is really strong. Uh, so we're going to put a dab of it in here. It comes out, if you've never used this before, comes out like, like a very thick jelly wood. There we go. So boom, we put that in there. And again, guys, some people might say, hey, this, this doesn't look like it's a lot. It's not a lot of food. This is going to be a strong nutrient, but not a lot of food. Because look how skinny she is. How big could her be? Um, Reptile cow. So here we have multivitamins. Again, the biggest thing is the number of uh, vitamins in here and the amount. But we are just going to get a little bit as it shakes out everywhere. But that's okay. Only a little bit went in there. Uh, I'm working kind of fast again, guys, because she's in rough shape. And then some reptile food. This is, in my opinion, the best type of syringe uh, food you can put together. Just a little bit. Okay. Full of vitamins, full of everything. We're going to take, let's get this capped and out of the way. Here's kind of our slaw, our slushy. We're going to take the syringe. We're going to mix. If we need to add a little bit more water, we will. Since she's not probably taking solids very well, from what I was told, this is going to have to be pretty watery. And normally, when you do a mix like this, guys, you would have it be a little bit more solid. But we're basically going here for a, uh, a high water. Now, if I had Gatorade, some type of energy drink, Powerade, you know, some, something like that, I would dilute that down. Uh, and use that instead of the reverse osmosis water because again, it's just vitamins. It's electrolytes. It's really good to get them stimulated Just doing a great mix job here So that 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 goo that water that's what we're looking for. It's basically just mustard colored water at this point Which is what we want we don't want it darker because we don't want it to be too strong if it's too strong She could throw up now, before she arrived to me, they lived about uh, 30 minutes from me. I went ahead and I got a, a tank prepped. And I got the heating mat in there and turned on. And I've been taking temps and been doing everything. Here we are. We're just going to tap this to get the air to rise to the top. So she will be ready to uh, go into her home. Now, let's squeeze all the air out of here. But this is a, an emergency emergency. This poor leopard gecko is on its last leg. And I don't know if we'll be able to save this long term, guys. But I'll tell you what, we're going to do our damnedest here. So thanks for sticking around. It's not, a, it's not cheap rescuing reptiles, guys. It's not cheap paying for the electricity. For all the heat bulbs. It's, you know... It's not cheap to do everything right, but YouTube revenue from you guys watching has really helped. It's helped with the electricity, it's helped with food, and you guys subscribing allow me to take in reptiles like this. This is ready. We're going to put that down though, because I do have to give her a once over, and I do have to look at the mouth and plan how am I going to get in there and how am I going to feed. Uh, oh, come on, it's okay. Weighs absolutely nothing. Okay, lots of stuck shad. This is probably, if we can get her to eat and everything is going good, I don't see any mouth rot. Let me come in the frame here. Let me make sure we're zoomed out all the way. I don't see any mouth rot. Again, there's a little bit of stuck shad on the top of the head right there in the middle. But look, look at this head. Look at this poor girl. So let me pull her to the side real quick and make sure we should be able to open the mouth. Yeah, I don't think we'll have a problem at all with that. Okay, I'm going to take the tip of this 
And I'm just going to dip it in the water to get a little water droplet on here. That way I can just touch it to her mouth and on the side, because we're going to want to go in kind of the front side. And just let her know that something's going to be coming. A little bit there. A little bit more drop. I want to put one on the tip of the nose up here. Let her know, hey, there's some water. And she's so small. The syringe is thicker than her tail. I mean, she's got no excess water in her at all. Okay. Now I'm going to have to get a good grab here. Because this is not going to be easy. She's obviously scared. Her eyes are closed. She doesn't know what's going on. And this syringe, this is the smallest syringe I have. Guys, and this is, I mean, look at it compared to my finger. This is nothing. She is just so tiny. So let's make sure her mouth actually opens. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get ready. Let's get my finger on the compressor here. And let's first, let's first get her mouth open. She's probably going to fight this, but that's okay. This is, we're going to try to save her life here. And no one said she's going to enjoy every second of it. She'll thank us later. Okay. That's not bad. The nice thing is she's so weak. It's very hard for her to fight back. Okay, so look in here, guys. She's drinking. We're pushing out a little bit out of the syringe. And she's taking it down. We just want to keep going slow. See her every time she moves her head like that. She's swallowing. Look underneath her, um, underneath her neck there. You can see that moving up and down. And then obviously you can see the syringe is being compressed. Very nice. Now this, this kind of makes me mad because when they said they've tried a tube feeder and they've tried to get her to eat, and she wouldn't be tube fed. Look at this. She ate that like a champ. She was so hungry. A little bit on the side of her face. Normally I would suck that up to, to put it back in, but um, she did so well with that. I'm going to just whoop. She took a, a full syringe worth. Now, okay, this is important. Look at her. I was trying to put her down. She's got her head up. So she's making sure here everything goes down. She's using gravity. She's having everything go down right there. That was really important. And, and I would like to say that her color reminds me a lot of when we got Ariel. You guys know if you go back, she was white. But Ariel at least had weight. She just had stuck shed. This girl has nothing. Um, but that's a good tube feed. I'm going to feed her probably normally like this a few times a day, morning, evening, and night, same amounts and just rinse and repeat. But for now, we're just going to start with that. We don't, we don't want to give her too much. Like I said, we don't want her to throw up, but we do want we do need her to get some nutrients in her. I just want to give you guys a good look. We're going to do it really close to the camera. Let me get the focus set. Here's her face. She's definitely got stuck shut on her nose area. You can see that. Look at how thin she is. I mean, her skin is hugging her skeletal structure. There's the stuck shed on the fingers. That is something we have to tackle, but we don't want to put her through that traumatic right now because that is how you will lose fingers. And on the, on the front, she's got one, two, in fact, look at that, uh, look at that middle nail. It's missing the tip already from shed. The nail is missing. The tip of the finger is gone. Um, the back, multiple stuck shed there. 
multiple stuck shut there. See if I can show the other hand. That one's not as bad, but the uh, pointer finger, the second from the left, and the middle, missing the nail, missing the tip of the finger from shed. So, so don't get me wrong, the stuck shed is a problem and we have to get rid of it, but we have to let her calm down. We have to give her a couple meals and let them sit. I don't want her to get riled up, move around and throw up. Look at the, the hip bones here. Ugh. All right, we're gonna go put her in her tank and I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of her tank as well. All right, guys, here's her tank. It, it, it's nothing crazy. Um, 20 gallon long tank, heat mat, that's a critter heat mat, gets to 90s with a thermostat on it. Um, she's going to go right on that, you know, 90, 94, perfect for them. That's her warm hide. There's a bowl with water. Now, normally you'd want the water bowl to be large enough to allow the entire leopard gecko to float in, to, to lay in if they needed that much water. But with her, we're not gonna start with that right away. Small, controlled water dish for her. Humid hide right here, filled with wet paper towel with a ramp leading up to it. It's just got a little bit of elevation. And then just the cool dark hide, which is just an empty log. And I put a piece of cardboard at the back to black it out. Cause a lot of times guys, I didn't know this was coming. I don't have tons of hides and everything and things that will fit in this tank so you know I, I i whipped this up that is you know food comes in that and i keep i always keep tupperware and things like that so if i have to convert them with hot glue spin them over do whatever you can craft them this is all just on a bed of newspaper so we can see there she is she's not moving she's keeping her head up like that more than likely she's just trying to keep that food down and that's a great sign I find it extremely hard to believe that those people were telling the truth when they tell me, oh yeah, we would try to syringe feed her and she wouldn't take it. She took that down and the willingness she had to take that down, I feel like I don't want to be too optimistic at the beginning, guys, but this is a great start. This is going to be a long journey, but this is a very good start. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Take care.